Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nick and Josh here from Thermal Gaming, and today we are introducing a new segment called The Game Report. Basically what The Game Report is, we take the week's biggest news in gaming and introduce it to you guys in case you haven't heard it already. And, um, ready to get things started? Yep. Alright, sounds good. The first topic of the week is the Ratchet and Clank movie. Now, I saw this trailer early in the, earlier in the week after I got home from school, and I was immediately excited, but... Um, I thought I thought it was kind of um, surprising actually, because Ratchet and Clank seemed to have been out of the gaming discussion for quite some time. I think that's pretty fair to say. Um, but I remember playing those games as a kid and just having a blast with those. But um, basically, I, I I'm pretty excited for it. Um, the the animation looks great. I've always think I've always thought that the Pixar guys uh, look exactly like. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see where they go with that. Josh, what do you think about it? Yeah, I, I enjoyed Ratchet and Clank also. It was um, pretty fun, so uh, I'm not so sure about the fact that it's a movie because the track record for you know movies based off of video games hasn't been too good. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, this, is, this isn't going to be like a live action you know, kind of remake no, it's where they be... retell the story. Yeah, it looks exactly so. like the game, which is awesome. Same voice actors and everything. Oh, so I, I feel like they, they might be able to make this one good, but we can just, all we can do is wait and see. Yeah, definitely. And by the way, guys, it comes out in spring 2015. If you guys haven't done so already, go check out the trailer. Um, so next topic is Nintendo. Nintendo is skipping their E3 event this upcoming E3 which is really disappointing to me because they were supposed to unveil quite a few things. Four games that I was definitely excited for, and I rarely get to say I'm excited for a Nintendo E3 <coughs> press conference because they usually disappoint. And this year seems to be no exception because they they were supposed to unveil the new Super Smash Bros. game, new Mario Kart, a new Mario game, and a new Zelda. Now, granted, I'm getting extremely bored of Mario. I, I, I like Mario Kart. And I'd be excited for the new Zelda game and the new Super Smash Bros. especially. Because that's what me, you, and Brett do a lot, Josh. And I think that would be a lot of fun to have a new one to play. But we're not going to get that this year. And I'm just extremely disappointed. I, 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 don't, I think you feel the same way. It just I think it would be kind of cool to have some kind of acknowledgement that the fans care and everything. I mean, cause Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not too big on Nintendo. Yeah. And I, I you know, it, it's like it's a, it's good for like you know having your friends come over and sit and play like multiplayer games. That's that's fine. But, you know, other than that, I just I I never really got into Nintendo. Like for instance, Mario or, or Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda is fine, but I never really got into it. So yeah, only said. thing I'm. But the only thing I was really looking forward to is is Super Smash Bros. Yeah, you told me the other... It was last night that you uh, thought that um, Metroid was your favorite series from Nintendo. Yeah, that was the only series I've really got into. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Metroid's a fantastic game. Super Metroid's one of the all-time greatest on my list. Definitely in top ten. All right, well, uh, moving on to the next topic... Uh, the Evil Within, it's the creators of uh, Resident Evil, it's their new game, Josh and I are both big fans of the genre, and I feel like we haven't had a good horror game in a while. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I mean, you know, the the whole, like, Slender thing coming out, that's gotten really popular, but I wouldn't necessarily say that that's been necessarily good. Um, however, the new Slender Arrival game was, that, that was... That was okay. Yeah. Um, although I, I have to say, there's some problems with it still. Like, for instance, uh, Slenderman's ability to pop up in front of you. Oh, I know that's extremely cheap. So, but that aside, um, I don't really know too much about the new game coming out. Uh, it does seem pretty cool and interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, once again, just have to wait and see how it goes. Yeah, definitely. Um, but the creator of Resident Evil said that he wants this to be a game that people will remember for being one of the scariest games they've played in a while. So I think that's that's a good goal to strive to. Very lofty, but very good at the same time. 
Um, so that, that made me kind of excited for it. The concept art seems really cool, but right now there's only the live action trailer. But uh, just the live action trailers got me excited for it already. So I can't wait to see where they go with it. Maybe they'll have a demo at uh, E3, maybe even PAX. So uh, next topic is the new Xbox. Next gen consoles are coming out this holiday season for sure. If the, the PS3 for sure is coming out, the Xbox does not have a release date. PS4. That's what did I say? PS3. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. Well, the PlayStation 4 is coming out this holiday season, and I would, I wouldn't be surprised if the Xbox Infinity did as well. But they're gonna make an announcement on May 21st about that. So guys, stay tuned for that and. Uh, on the YouTube feed and everything on Reddit. You'll probably see a release date coming out sometime soon. I personally don't really care about when the new Xbox is coming out or, like, I'm not really interested in any of the games that will be coming out for it unless Halo is announced. Um, Freaking Bungie's new project looks pretty awesome, but I, I don't know if I'd want to get it on the 720 I or Infinity, whatever they want to call it, but... Uh, if I had a choice between consoles and they, they didn't release it on PC, then I'd probably go with the PlayStation 4 version. That's just because I think PlayStation 4 has better online support. And also, even though they don't have as many social features as Xbox does, it's also free to free to play. And I've grown to like PlayStation more, more and more that I've gotten into it. So, the whole new Xbox thing doesn't really phase me in the slightest. How about you, Josh? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with consoles in general, but particularly the new Xbox because I don't I don't really like Microsoft. I mean, you know, like yeah, sure they provide some um, kind of like user friendly service. Yeah, for but sure. it's been sort of they're, they're not very friendly with the users per se because I, I I've had some issues with them in the past. Uh, they seem. They seem to kind of be out for the money. Yeah, exactly. They are definitely out for the money. And so, you know, because of that, I, I don't really I don't really like Microsoft. Yeah. Microsoft is definitely not my favorite company right now. But uh, Sony, I'm looking forward to see what they do with the next, next generation platform. Um, all right, next discussion. I'm sure you're looking forward to this one, Josh. Call of Duty Ghosts. Oh man, a new Call of Duty game, what a surprise. This year is just, the game market has just been saturated with just a bunch of freaking like Michael Bay shooters, I swear to God. They're, they're just going to keep and keep on coming out. But I I think Josh can agree with me here that the Call of Duty series has gotten stale, and it was, it was stale like three to four years ago. Like after Modern Warfare 2, I was, I was done. Call of Duty World at War was probably the last good Call of Duty game, I would say, that I, I could enjoy, but it's, I'm, I'm just kind of done, like, if they take, like, a three-year break, I think I would, I, it would make me feel a little bit better, but it's just a maybe, it's, I, I just cannot see, see myself coming to buy another Call of Duty game, it's starting to become, like, a sports franchise where nothing's new, just, like, a roster update. Josh, do you have any opinions on the new Call of Duty Ghost game? Uh, Call of Duty sucks. Call of Duty sucks, period. Okay. Alright, well those are the big topics for this week. Um, some stuff that's going on with the channel. We have, uh, well we just recorded uh, Slender the Arrival last night. We have a few episodes to upload this week. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we're going to try to make this uh, game report segment uh, like a kind of a weekly thing. Maybe every Friday or Saturday it will be uploaded. So stay tuned for those as well. And uh, we'll see you guys next.